Hi, welcome or welcome back. Today I'd like to show you a little web part which I have created for SharePoint 2010 to enable SharePoint 2010 to scan directly from a scanner which is attached to the SharePoint server to a document or picture library or any library you can choose from the drop-down. So the base technology is uh, a sandboxed, uh, sandboxed uh, SharePoint 2010 solution and a full trusted proxy DLL which is performing all the scanning operations and uh, I can show you quickly how it works so here we have a button to select the attached scanners you can see that the system has found two scanners one HP scanner and one Fujitsu Siemens scanner and I can choose here the destination where to scan to for example my scanned documents and I can say here um, under which file name to save it to the library so I type in some name and I give a resolution of 75 dots per inch here and give 16 bits per pixel and I will like to scan it as a PNG image. Now I click on scan image and the scanner will start his scanning operations. This is the slower device. Maybe you can hear it. Okay, it's finished now and here uh, is a little status uh, label which shows that uh, the image was saved to my scanned documents list with a file some name. If I click this link the my scanned documents uh, documents um, edit window will pop up and you can enter the metadata for the element. I will save it and I like to show you that if I select another scanning device this one is much faster you can hear it it's already done it works also if I leave here the file name out and scan again the same document you will see that it will generate an automatic file name which you can see here it's based on the current date and current time so I can also scan uh, the images and grayscale them so I will put in again the sheet of paper and I will say I like to grayscale the image and I have here a gray scaled image scan image and as you can see the image was grayscaled here's a, a little problem because I've turned on <coughs> the developer information for SharePoint 2010 permanently and therefore the window will pop up in max mode. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, this little web part and uh, please go to my blog for further explanations and, and read there uh, everything about uh, the use techniques. Thank you very much for joining me. Good night.